What's up everybody? This is going to be a slightly shorter video than most, but uh, we have to do it because today we are checking out the Stuttgart library with our friends. I've only been here, mommy hasn't even been here. I've only been here once or twice and it is super cool. Here it is, it's just an ominous blocky building. There's a bunch of construction going on down here. I think they're just extending a train line. Um, and over here, we've got one of the two new malls here in Stuttgart. Malls are becoming super popular in Germany, and we just had two put up within the last six months. This is one of them, and it's pretty big. I haven't been in it yet, though. After a long week of really nice weather, Germany's catching up with us, and it is crap now, and we gotta get inside. So this is inside the building, um, and the stairwell runs in between the outer area and this inner, inner block. So let's go up. Here's the children's area. I also apologize if my audio quality is degraded. I popped my shotgun mic off, so I look less like I'm filming. Don't want to raise suspicion here. What library do you know of where you can... Uh, there's Strasbourg. <laughs> what library do you know of where you can rent board games? and puzzles. That's pretty cool. So as you can see all this all the stairwells are inside. Like there's sandwich between the actual library and this part. Now, see that blue square? Remember that blue square. This is the world floor with books and movies in all different languages. Here you can check out all your favorite magazines. That's that blue square as seen from above. We came in here and at first mom was like feeling ripped off. And here it is in all of its glory, the Stuttgart Library. It's a really, really cool place to hang out. Got a cafe and a bar up here, nice salad bar. Kind of embarrassed it took me this long to make a video of this place. I mean, we lived here for two and a half years. It's, it's been here this whole time. Super fancy book returning machine. I dig it. And here's where you can get up on the roof, right through here. I always get just a little bit paranoid walking on these grates. Lots of sights to see from up here. You can see the, uh, the Hauptbahnhof, the main train station. There's the, uh, the city hall, the Rathaus, and there's also a really old church that actually has two steeples over there. Over there there's a TV tower that, uh, it has a restaurant in it but it got shut down due to fire hazards, but uh, they're going to open it up next year I think. Fortunately, I won't be here. I'll have to come back. It's sad because I'm pretty sure a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I recorded a video here, but they, I, there have been a couple times when I recorded a video and didn't post it for various reasons, and I think this was one of them. Ooh, fancy. Fancy schmancy. You can see why this place is quite the attraction, especially for bookworms and students who just need to get away. Um, it's definitely worth checking out if you're ever in the area. There's loads of sheet music here too, which I think is really, really cool. I found somebody practicing. One final note is that in the middle of this overly majestic room, we have an overly majestic fountain. It's just amazing. Look at it, it just fits in perfectly. Well, I had to pack my stuff up and, uh, there's water on my lens. I had to pack up my junk and avoid getting arrested, so sorry for the shorter video. I had to do the whole thing in secret, so this is a little covert episode of Life in Germany. Call it Life in Germany Special Ops. Well guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Despite its shortness and secrecy, we have sought refuge from the storm and the new mall, so we're going to check that out, but I'm going to probably come down here and film a video just about malls at some point. So until then, Sam out. Thank you.